All right, day 48 of the freaking assimilation of this damn motor. So far, I put on the water neck. Uh, now, I'm just gonna put on the cam caps. Uh, just have the head complete, ready for the valve cover to go on. Um, what else did I do that I didn't film? I think that's pretty much it. I just uh, cleaned up these with brake cleaner. All right, so right here, I realized I didn't film me installing the cams, me putting the assembly lube on the cams and the rocker arms or whatever the hell they're called. What are they called? It's like four o'clock in the morning and I'm editing this video that you're watching right now. So like my mind is all over the damn place, but that's what you're seeing on your screen. Um, What else? Oh, I got a lot of comments saying, Zosh, don't use that trash clutch. Guys, don't worry, okay? I'm only putting the clutch on the car to get the motor in the car because of several issues i need the motor in the car and running um for a couple of reasons that i don't want to get into it's kind of like personal stuff not really i'm just lying i just want the damn motor together but um yeah um we'll be getting a clutch man money is short right now i'm spending a lot of money on this turbo stuff um i have to you know help my mom out whenever she needs it so you know i don't have you know endless amounts of money to just dump like 500 for a clutch kit so that's why I just pretty much use the same clutch. And I know you're gonna say, Zaz, why don't you just get a job? You don't know what I do, okay? I don't just do YouTube, all right? I have other ventures outside of YouTube where I get revenue, but it's still not enough to cover, you know, the whole boost kit, getting the car boosted and ready to tune. Like, I just don't have the funds for that right now. But don't even trip, my boys. Your boy Zosh will be ordering a clutch soon, like in a week or two, depending on my pockets, because your boy pockets ain't fat. So in a, like a couple of weeks or two, I should be doing a freaking clutch install video again or whatever. I'm going to bed. All right, got the cam caps, cams, everything all lubed up and on. I don't know if I filmed that process. Uh, I think I did, but everything is copesthetic, baby. Um, torque these down, well, tighten them down, then torque them down after I'm done. And then I'm gonna start putting the side together, time it and everything, and then, Wait for Randy to come over, slap the transmission on, and the motor should be complete. Let me give you guys a quick little update. Um, Man, I'm pretty exhausted, to be honest with you guys. I'm doing this like four days straight now. Wake up, come out, do this. Um, I know that anybody else, or all you experienced damn mechanics, whatever the hell you want to be called, whatever. Uh, I know you guys do this like in, what, a day or so, but, um, you know, I, I'm doing this all by myself, no help. And it's like my first actual, like, real time assembling an engine all on my own. So that's why it's taking me a couple of days to get this done. Plus, I keep losing tools. Like, right now, I'm looking for the uh, thermostat housing that I did earlier, and I have no idea where I put it. No idea. And my garage is this small, bro. I just cleaned it up a little bit. You probably can't even tell, but uh, I cleaned it up a little bit. I got the old block here. If anybody want parts off it, man, let me know, man. I got it. I mean, I got ARP rod bolts in here. Uh, you can, I got a crank that's in still good condition. I got a full um, high compression B20 head with cams. Take all that crap. I don't need it. Uh, yeah, man. Um, but yeah, look how small my garage is, man. It's real. My workspace is real small. And I have no idea where I put the freaking thermostat house. Never mind, I found it. Well, I'm waiting for Rinder right now to come over so we can mount this damn transmission on so the whole thing can be assembled. I gotta get a valve cover gasket set. Uh, well, warranty mine out. And um, put that on. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, um, uh, I could put on the distributor and stuff, really. Like, I could fully swap and put the intake manifold on. Oh, I gotta get an intake manifold gasket. Oh, shit. Not a lot. No. Move it up. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let the cringe fest begin. Alright, so yeah. It took me and Randy and my a total of, what, five, maybe eight, ten minutes? I don't even remember how many minutes it took for us to put on the damn transmission. It usually takes like a couple, not even a couple minutes, like I say like a minute tops, but I don't know. I was being rushed. Uh, I was exhausted from working on this damn thing all day. So it was like, ah, oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to get the right shot. Randy rushing me because Randy and Meyer are trying to get swole in the gym. So yeah, that was just not good looks. But uh, yeah, we got the transmission on that. Just, well, I don't know if you can see by now, but yeah, well, obviously, you can tell by the title of this video. We got the transmission assembled and on. Uh, yeah, so I could just cut some footage out because this shit goes on for like minutes. All right, so my Randy came over quick. Uh, we got the transmission on, so that's good. We're gonna put on the starter, the transmission mount, this engine mount, 
the next video you shall see from me will be putting this into that so you know let's see how long that takes to get done um one man army baby one man army wow look at that starting to look more and more like a complete engine whoa all right i got the mounts on distributor starter uh i probably should take off this mount now when you're timing uh make sure those are right across from each other that's level with the head um i think that's level with the head it looks pretty good if you have adjustable cam gears make sure these dots or up arrows are facing up come on focus 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 there we go that looks about right wouldn't you say that look about right that looks about right so make sure those are pointing in the air uh, make sure down here this is TDC I gotta remove this because this is blocking my damn thing but uh, yeah just make sure that's straight blah 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 got the motor time uh, everything is good I'm gonna call it a night throw the valve cover on um, next video you guys should see from me will be this going into the car because it is pretty much complete all I gotta do is throw on the valve cover and spark plugs and all that crap all right so the B20 V tech is now assembled so um Give myself a pat on the back. Well, that's it for the B20 V Tech, boy. Before I end the video, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Can't wait to upload the video of me installing this bad boy. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, what else should I say? Um, as far as the stock block 1000 stickers, everyone seems to like number four. So I guess that's going to be the one we go with. Um, I'd run a fisher poll on Twitter, but you guys don't follow me on Twitter. So, I mean, I can't really get you guys' answers and stuff, but as long as you guys support the movement, that's all that that's all that all matters, bro. But um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys, what, in the next one, which will be, what, tomorrow? Yeah, see you guys tomorrow. I'm out. Peace. Bye.